So I think that uh, because it's entitled Allah, it's only fair that we dig deep a little bit into the etymology of the name itself. So uh, would you be able to tell us a little bit more about the origins of the word Allah? Right. Yeah. Great, great question. Which actually is, is challenging to answer in a simple way. Uh, who, who would think that, you know, one word would lead to so much, uh, just in, in terms of its etymology or linguistic qualities, would lead to so much dispute and difference in scholarly writings through, through the years. Maybe the first point to make is that Arabic Allah is cognate with similar words for God in other Semitic languages, keeping in mind that Arabic is a Semitic language like Hebrew and Aramaic and Syriac, Syriac being just a version of Aramaic with its own script. Um, and so if, just to use the example of Aramaic in Syriac, there the word for God is Allah, so very similar. Uh, Hebrew, uh, usually the plural form Elohim, but same root is used. So there's this historical etymological connection between those words for God and Allah. That doesn't fully explain things because others would like focus on the particular context of Arabia, and they would note that in pre-Islamic pagan inscriptions, there is a pagan god who's referred to as La, sometimes El-La, if that El being the definite article in Arabic. And then in a later stage of the inscriptions, where we have monotheistic inscriptions, most of which are by Christians in Arabic, God is referred to as el ila and it's possible that this form, El Ila, which literally means the God, El Ila, is used by these Christians writing in Arabic as a sort of equivalent to the Greek name for God, Ho Theos, which again is the God. But we also have one or two inscriptions from just before Islam. The most famous is inscription known as the Ab Shems inscription, which has been discussed online, but as far as I know, has not been uh, studied or uh, in an academic journal, which referred to God as Allah. Uh, in fact, the form in the Ab Shems uh, inscription is Allahumma, like O oh God, in this sort of vocative form. Uh, and so there, there's good reason to think that the use of Allah for God is an indigenous Arabian development and not simply a borrowing from Syriac Allah. One, one final point is to note that in the inscriptions, El Ila, or eventually Allah, is typical of the northern Arabian inscriptions, whereas in the south, for example, around Najran in the southern part of Saudi Arabia and in what is now Yemen, the typical name used by monotheists, Jews or Christians for God, is Rahmanan. And the an at the end is the definite article in the South Arabian languages. So basically, it's ar-Rahman. God is referred to as ar-Rahman, which is interesting. And I'll stop here. I've probably gone on too long, Omar. Oh, not it's not interesting not. because yeah. the Quran, at least in one verse, explicitly says, call on him as Allah or call on him as ar-Rahman. And that verse seems to be a way of sort of reconciling two different ways that Arabian monotheists were referring to God in affirming that both Allah, the northern name, and Ar-Rahman, the southern name, are legitimate ways to call on God.